One of the areas I didn't cover in my last documentary was that of Western Australian country rail cars. I am nowhere near as familiar with these as I am with the suburban rail cars. Thanks to enthusiasts like Ivan Olsen and Brian Muelling, I've decided to put together a documentary, just a short one, of Western Australian country rail cars. We'll start with the WAGRAO class. This was a three member class of petrol driven rail motors or rail cars operated between 1922 and 1950 by the West Australian Government Railways. Only one member of this class, number 431, has survived long enough to be officially classified as an AO class vehicle in 1937. The next rail car we'll look at is the ASA class, which operated between 1931 and 1954. It was our one and only Sentinel Camel steam rail car. This was manufactured in England, brought out to Australia and reassembled here in 1931. It bore the road number of 445. After its initial trials, it was put to service between Perth and Armadale. In 1959, it was converted into a track recording car and given the number ALT-5. It was withdrawn from service in 1992 and sent to Boyan Up Transport Museum for preservation. Between 1937 and 1962, the West Australian Government Railways operated the ADE class, also known as the Governor class, which operated with the ADT trailers. In December of 1937, W.G. Armstrong, Newcastle upon Tyne, delivered the first ADE rail car. It was the first diesel electric rail vehicle to enter service in Australia. It was followed in 1938 by a further five that were delivered in knocked down form and assembled at the Midland Railway workshops. All were named after governors of Western Australia, hence the class name. It soon became apparent that these rail cars had insufficient capacity, so five AG carriages were adapted as trailer cars as an interim solution, pending six ADT trailers being delivered by the Midland Railway workshops in late 1939. Sometime in the 1960s, this one was captured at Bunbury. In 1949 and 1950, they were displaced by the Wildflower class of diesel rail cars and sent to operate services in more remote parts of the state. Withdrawals commenced in 1957, with the last being withdrawn in April 1962. The next series of rail cars we'll have a look at is the ADF class. These are all named after Western Australian wildflowers. We had Baronia, Croia, Grevillea, Hovia, Leshenaltia and Banksia. The two I remember are Grevillea and Hovia. Each set had one powered ADF rail car and two ADU trailers. From 1949, they operated services between Perth and Albany, Perth to Geraldton, Perth to Meriden, Jidlow, Ongarup, Kalgoorlie and Esperance. They were progressively withdrawn from 1959 to be replaced by country road buses. Those of you who follow my YouTube channel will have seen this footage before, but I've included it here for continuity.
I am grateful to Wikipedia for filling in the gaps in my knowledge of Western Australian country railcars. In a previous video, we covered the ADH, Austral End and Prospector country rail cars, which we have included here for the record. Here is evidence of a colour scheme that I didn't know existed. On the far road, platform 4 at Perth Station, is an ADG or an ADH with dark green livery with red and white ends. I can't find any reference to this colour scheme except for a model on the Marble Up Valley Railway. The Prospector service to Kalgoorlie commenced in November 1971, cutting the 653 kilometre journey time from 14 to 8 hours. With an average speed of 85 kilometres an hour, it was the fastest service in Australia at the time. In 2004, it was replaced with vehicles capable of reducing their journey time to 6 hours and 45 minutes. In November 1987, the locomotive hauled Austral train was taken over by the current ADP ADQ class railcars. Neil Blinko has placed a clip on YouTube of Channel 9's Anne Conti telling us all about this new train that thinks it's a plane. New Australind will revolutionise train travel between Perth and Bunbury, slicing more than an hour off the old travelling time with the comfort of a jetliner. The train that thinks it's a plane. The new $9 million Australind flying down the Perth Brumbury railway line in just two hours. And to show just how easy it was, the Premier took the driver's seat. A bit easier than driving a car because there are two things that assist you called rails and unless you're pretty dense you can't go left or right so I got through OK. And like a boy with a new toy, engine driver Harold Wyatt was itching to take the slick new train up to her top speed of 140 kilometres an hour and then really show the folks on board her amazing stopping power. A little bit more effort and they could have shown people exactly what this train will do. The new Australind passed virtually every test with flying colours. Unfortunately it failed the ultimate railway test and that's running on time. But what's a few minutes on such an auspicious trip? And Westrail assures us on the Australind's first commercial outing on November 16 it will be on time. Michael Thompson, National 9 News. Here are some very interesting railway action at East Perth. An EMU, that's an electric motor unit, is being used as a shunting locomotive to move a trailer car from the Australind into the sheds for servicing. This year, in 2022, these original Australian railcars are due for replacement. Once again, please feel free to add your own comments to this most interesting part of Western Australian history.